Welcome to this Bentley Systems training course on RAM connection. In this video, we will learn about the different connection types available in the program under the Australian Steel Design Code. Before we jump into the connection types, let us take some time to briefly go through the process of defining the load cases and the design code. To add new load cases or edit existing ones, we can go to the Home tab and click on the Add or Edit button from the group of icons available in Load Conditions. Here we can either type in the load cases ourselves or pull them in from a list of frequently used load cases. You can also save new load cases to this list. Inside the table at the bottom of this dialog, you can create your load combinations by manually typing in the factors for the load cases. Instead of creating the combinations manually, you can also generate the load combinations by clicking on the Generate button and selecting an appropriate generator file. Here we also have generator files according to AS1170. To select our design code, we can go to the Design tab and click on the Design Code button. We can select a code from the drop-down list at the top. For the Australian code, you can either select the AS 4100 2020 or AS 4100 1998 code. These are the references utilized for the design of connections according to the Australian standards. You can also select the load conditions that you want to include in the analysis. When you are working with the Australian code, there are various connections available for you to assign to different joint types like beam to support joints, joints for splices, joints for the top and base of columns, joints for vertical bracing, and truss joints. For beam to support joints like beam to column flange, beam to column web, or beam to girder, you can apply various shear connections, moment connections, and combined shear and moment connections. Depending on the configuration of these types of joints, you can apply shear connections like angle cleat connections, bearing pads, end plates, stiffened or unstiffened seated connections, as well as website plates. For moment connections, we can utilize bolted or welded flange plates. The program also allows you to assign these moment connections together with a shear connection. For combined moment connections, we have bolted end plates, bolted end plates for mitred knee, welded beam to column flange, and mitred knee for hollow sections. Now let's move on to the connection types available for the Australian code, considering beam and column splices. You can provide bolted cover plates at the web of beam and column splices to create a shear connection. This can also be converted to a welded plate by going into the connection pad. For creating moment connections, you can provide bolted cover plates or directly welded connections at the flanges. You can also utilize both shear and moment connection templates together on a single joint. There are also individual combined shear and moment connections with end plates. This can be provided for circular and rectangular hollow sections in case of beam and column splices, and you can also utilize this in beam splices with eye sections. For column cap and base joints, you can provide cap plate and base plate connections respectively. All base plate connections are available only as smart connections. It is also worth noting that for any given connection type under a certain design code in RAM connection, you can only apply the connection to a joint that has members with section types that are supported by the connection. For example, in case of columns in a base plate, you can utilize I sections, channels, I sections formed by two channels, and rectangular or circular hollow sections. You can get further information on the allowable member types according to connections of different codes from Chapter 2.5 of the RAM Connection Help Manual. For joints with vertical bracings, you can apply gusset connections. In this type of connection, you can utilize different ways to connect the beams and gussets to the column using the connection pad. 
You can also apply different types of connections between the gusset and the beam, and different end connection types between braces and gussets. All gusset connections are also available only as smart connections. Finally, for a truss joint, you can apply either a tubular truss connection that has welded connections between cord and branches, or you can assign a truss gusset branch connection that connects the core member of the truss to the branches with the help of gussets. The program also has examples for your reference on the Australian connection design covering the different connection types that are available. This concludes our video on different connection types available in RAM connection for the Australian steel design code. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.